This is a setup to show you how to configure the FTC energy generator to get maximum power. This is a common configuration where we're going to be using the Outback FlexMax 80 to charge two batteries. We have a one-third horse Dayton direct drive blower motor. Now a one-third horse motor will produce about 246 watts of energy at this shaft. Now our goal is to get maximum energy into the batteries. We got 246 watts here. We want to get as much of that into the batteries as possible. This is just a straight common setup. We're going to, it's not optimized. We're just going to show you what it's doing. This motor is going to turn this generator. This generator is going to um, put energy through these 16 rectifiers, combine them, going in the charge controller. The charge controller is going to convert that into energy into the batteries. After we do that, we're going to calculate the power that it made. Then we're going to take and change the configuration and do it again and show you the amount of power. We're only using 16 of the 18 coils in this generator. This generator is a polycarbonate casing. The reason we went with a polycarbonate casing for this generator in the, in the prototypes is to verify that the heat would not be bad in the actual generators. The actual generators are made of metal, the casing. If, they, if the polycarbonate can withstand it, the metal casings will never, never have any heat problems. Now I'm going to turn this on and you're going to watch the voltages on the display on the Outback Flex Max 80. Now you see the unit is waking up, it's tracking. It's now up to 120 watts, 150, 160, 180 watts. Now we're going to go into bulk with 190 watts. We're MPTC bulk right now. What we're going to do next is we're going to change the configuration, come back, and show you how this thing functions configured differently. Okay, we've made a change to the configuration. All we've done is change the pulleys to the motor to the generator. Before, we were using, we had, um, we're using 16 of the 18 coils. We had 190 watts. So we ended up generating, uh, theoretically, 202 watts from this motor into that battery. Going through this whole process, we were in there. We changed this pulley arrangement to make the generator go a little faster. Now I'm going to turn it on, and you're going to see what it's done. <laughs> It hit a top of 240. Now based on using 16 of the 18 coils, 240 times 18 divided by 16 means <clears throat> we generated 270 watts into the batteries. This thing is producing 246 watts at this shaft. From there to there, through this, we ended up with 270 watts. We are over unity with this system here. We're not over unity in terms of how much power because this third horse motor takes 450 watts to drive it, and it only produces 246 watts of energy. But Anything producing 246 watts of energy through this generator will end up with 270 watts of power at the batteries. 
we will go into how to configure this thing for all you that uh, uh, buy these units. We will explain the complete configuration so that that's simple and easy to understand. The value of this generator is that it can be configured in any way, whether this is a charge controller, whether this is direct drive, um, uh, direct grid tie inverter, whether you have a steam engine, whether you have a gas engine, whatever you have, this thing can be configured to create the maximum power where you need it. That's the advantage of the SPC generator.